All right, folks, uh, we're getting ready to uh, make some black and uh, peg kits. And one of the first things we do is we clean up this wood. We turn it from a raw lumber into cleaned up lumber. The problem is, is it has a slight warp every time you do that, because this is, you know, real wood. We don't have a joiner, <clears throat> but we do have a CNC, so to get this slight uh, warp out of it, We'll clean off this press, got to take all this stuff off, and then we'll use the uh, one inch bit to shave off a perfectly level spot. Then we can flip it over and plane it the other side, and it'll be don't won't have any warps in it no more. So that's what we got to do with all this lumber this morning. So, uh, let me clean all this junk off of our CNC machine so we can have a nice place to work back to work. All right, so with a warp board, one edge is going to be up. So we took this shim and we shimmed up so that there's no torque on this board from these holding pieces. So uh, we don't want anything uh, forcing the board down so that when we plane it off or join it off, uh, it'll naturally stay where it's at. So this board was uh, wedged up first to make sure it wouldn't wobble, then tightened down, held in place to make sure it didn't twist the board so that when it does finish joining it, it'll be nice and uh, flat. All right, back to work. Hey folks, here's a disclaimer. Don't do what I do. I'm just showing you how I do what I do. Don't do any of this at home. I'm just showing you what I do. Don't do this anywhere, it's dangerous. All right, so on my machine, I have put on here these uh, stop switches because this machine needs to know where zero is before it can go over and plane that board so what i do is i come up here and i'll press this little red square till this is flashing it tells me that i'm setting the machine coordinates then i reference all home and then magically it goes and finds all these switches Now this machine knows where everything is except for the distance from the bit to the ground and I'll do that <clears throat> with the hold of the program and uh, we'll set the zero set here. The uh, Z, I have to do this to zero the tool. But I also have to keep my hand on the emergency button. So in case this doesn't work, it doesn't destroy everything because this machine does not know how to turn itself off. If this machine doesn't have this ground switch on here to let it know it touched that, it will just push right on through and just start ripping stuff apart. So here we go. I'm going to set this here and then press that button. All right, success. Now this board should uh, be perfectly flat on this side. I'll cut this off, cut that off, and I'll plane the opposite side with the exact thickness we need. Okay. All right, now that we've uh, used the CNC to level one side, we simply flip the boards over, run them through the planer, and now we get have perfectly flat boards to uh, use for our material for making our centerpieces to our blocks. You see, these don't wobble whatsoever. So this is our material, and now we'll start cutting out the center blocks. All right, folks. We got the CNC cleared off and we got us a cut board up here along with our hold downs for our material. But before we get any further, we got to level this cut board, make sure it's perfectly level so that when we cut the blocks, they don't have any angles on it. They got to be straight up and down. So that's the next step. All right, now we've planed us a perfectly flat spot on this uh, MDF here so that uh, when we put the boards on it, 
they lay flat. The last thing you want is a, a wobbly board. But anyway, that's how that works. Now we can uh, start cutting out blocks for the middle sections. All right, so that's how you do that, man. Make sure everything, because if the bit's crooked, if the wood's crooked, it'll cut a crooked edge. The bit will come down and be crooked and crooked, and nothing will match. So you want everything to be perpendicular and uh, parallel and all that stuff can do it so that it works good. We got the uh, planks all leveled out and the bed leveled out. We're actually starting to cut the hole for the uh, little blocks. cut out. A little short on this piece, but that's okay. It'll still make a whole ring up here. So we're going to go ahead and start cutting out the uh, parts. We've got everything set up. Start cutting. And then we'll push go. Does that run in there or CNC does its job, man. We got a couple more that are not in this picture. But yeah, so now we're uh, we're ready to move on to the uh, to the top and the bottom blocks. They all have different designs for each layer. So uh, it's uh, part two is coming up on the next set of videos.